Welcome, beautiful people, to your weekly energy update, which is from January 8th to January 15th. And this week we have Mars, which is going post shadow of its retrograde. So, you know, before and after, when a planet starts to slow down in degree and move backwards, that's called the pre shadow. And we actually start to feel the energies of that, which I talked about when it happened back on September 4th when we entered the pre shadow. Then it went full retrograde October 30th. And now this week on January 12th, we enter the post shadow so we won't be feeling the impact the reflection back on the masculine type of energy in our, our lives we'll actually will be in the post shadow which is when it starts to slow its backward descent and it starts moving forward eventually when it goes direct on march 17th so it is like 687 earth days for mars to orbit the sun so it's almost ish around takes two twice as long that's why we kind of lap mars which makes it appear like it's going backwards but with that energy you know mars is the god of war it's the masculine energy how we deal with authority figures too so for this reading we're just going to ask how can you apply what you learned during that entire mars retrograde period toward masculine energy and that can be father or father figures it could be the divine father and it can also be our own divine masculine energy because whether we're male or female or how we identify we don't uh, you know we all have both divine masculine and divine feminine energies within us so that's what we're going to ask for this reading of course we have one for each individual zodiac sign and we're going to jump into yours right right now. All right, Sagittarius, this is your weekly energy update. And we're going to start off here pulling a card from the Power of Surrender cards. And any of the cards I do use in a reading, I list in the description box down below. So if any of them catch your eye and you do want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. All right. So let's take a look here and see where do you want to start, please? All right. This is the one right here. You've got surrender to inner peace. This says cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. So definitely with whatever you were learning to go through here, this is about you kind of stepping away, taking time to reflect, still stay out of the chaos, the noise, um, all the stuff that was coming up during the Mars retrograde is very warring, you know, the God of war and, um, and fiery, which, you know, uh, is an important piece of things being brought to the surface but now it's time to step back and reflect on those we're also going to pull here from the divine guidance deck and i call these the spiritual ink blot tests because whatever picture here you see uh, can have an additional message for you for whatever you see and then of course i will also read from the book so you have card number 18 so whatever you see here Trying not to have too much of a glare there, a reflection. Put that down here. Let's see what this brings in. And this is the Wisdom Guide. So the Wisdom Guide is here to help you with taking in new information and teachings. Whether you're taking courses, going back to school, or learning a new skill or craft, you'll find that you're able to process and retain new information more easily. Wisdom Guide also helps you to gain new insights and understandings through the intuitive channels, turning your knowledge into wisdom. So I like that. So you definitely have spiritual help here, spirit support team coming in to help you during this inner, when you step into the eye of the storm, the eye of the chaotic storm. You can look in here and, um, and ask for their assistance. You're not alone. They're going to help you 
process and understand what was happening here, what uh, you know boiled up during this period, you do you're not in doing it alone. So you'll it's like this is a period of time that it's going to be much more easier for you to process it. And I kind of feel like you're if it's something like, well, I've tried to do this in the past and it didn't work out. Why is it coming back up again? Well, now is the timing that you did make progress before, even though it didn't feel like it. But now you have extra assistance that's going to take you to a heightened level in processing whatever happened. So I like that. We're also going to pull from the runic tarot and see what else they have to add here. Okay, they evidently want that one. That came flying out. One more time here. All right. So what else for Sagittarius, please? There we go. All right, so we'll start with this one right here, and you do have the full card. Yeah, so this is a brand new beginning that's happening here. You are ready for this new adventure. Before, you might not have been ready, which we never will let go of things um, until we are ready to truly let go of them. So, uh, as I was talking about before, the blocks, the uh, resistance that you felt before was just part of getting out of the stuck in the mud type of feel, right? The, it's or a, like getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it's like, especially on a cold, cold day and you're underneath your, your quilt or comforter. You're so warm. You're like, I don't want to get out of there. So it's like that resistance. But now you, it, it just like, you were like, okay, I've been here long enough. Uh, you thought about things, you process things, but now you're ready to take more action. You're ready to take literally steps forward in it. So I like that. Yeah. Knight of Cups. So movement of emotion. So you are definitely ready for this movement. Whatever this emotion was, these emotional experiences, you are ready for forward advancement because all the knights are movement cards, but also they're all in a quest. And this quest is for the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups quest after the Chalice, the Holy Grail, which is full of the unconditional love from the higher realms. And so there is this transformation, this movement toward knowing that keeping things the way they were, you just couldn't stand it anymore. So as before, you know, like I was saying, uh, we never make movement until the ugly feeling of staying where we're at outweighs the fears of moving from where we're at. <laughs> and so at some point we're like, okay, I'm just sick and tired of feeling sick and tired and feeling this way. I just, I'm ready. And this is where you're at. You're ready for this forward movement. Yeah. Cause you, here's the hero font. So the master of change card number five of the major arcana. And they also, uh, are about finding your inner truth, connecting inward, finding out what is my capital T truth, not those small T truths of all those, you know, supposed to's and shoulds and need to's, those that are rooted in the fear of losing conditional love. This is going inward and upward and truly finding what it is, who I am, where I want to head, how I want to express myself to the world. and. So whatever interactions you were having before with authority, with masculine energy, whatever it may be, and it could even have been your own inner masculine energy where it's like, I just didn't feel like I could make this movement. I was afraid to step forward. I was afraid to live my dream. I'm afraid to do things. Well, this is your really getting in tune with what you are here to do, not exist anymore. You're ready to live and you're finding out what that means and you're ready to take action on it. Yeah. Because here's the seven of swords. Swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. And so this uh, is like discovering what of your own thoughts and beliefs and your mindsets were stealing away from you, stealing your joy, stealing action, stealing abundance, stealing relationships, stealing success, whatever it may be, you're discovering 
you know, with this higher truth, the small truths that no longer serve you, and you're discovering those and seeing that, okay, these old thoughts and beliefs that I created to protect myself when I was younger were good. They were successful to keep you alive, obviously, because you're alive now, but now they might be outdated. It might be time to let those go because it's like having, you know, puppy gates up but you don't have a puppy anymore right they've they've learned to obey or they've you know uh went away with a child you know um or you know you broke up and the the dog went away with someone else well you don't need the puppy gates up anymore that are keeping you back and forth you can take down the puppy gates <laughs> Then you have the King of Cups. So you have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. So very much in pursuit of that higher love. And the King of Cups, actually he rules over emotions, over the cup suit. But all the kings are actually given mind as well. So this is the balancing of mind and heart. Allowing you to see what it is you truly want to do and how you want to step forward, where you want to go. And so you're allowing not just yourself to be ruled by thought, but you're allowing your higher heart to come in here too. Balancing high heart and high mind with lower heart and lower mind. You know, because we know there's things that we need to do here if we want certain things to happen. But don't limit ourselves by those because a lot of those opinions we're given is the hows have to be this way this needs to be this way, blah, 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 blah. And those are the restrictive things that keep you bound and from moving forward. Let the how go. Let a lot of stuff go where you allow spirit to come in and have a movement of things in your life as well. Yeah, because you have the Ten of Pentacles. Abundance is coming your way. <laughs> so this is fullness, wholeness, completeness uh, in your life. And uh, so you have nothing to be afraid of. This is endings and new beginnings in the outside world, but it does bring in a ton of abundance and the feeling of abundance in your life. Yeah, and the Five of Swords. Is your mental conflict here a big piece of all this that's coming through here? You know, as you connect more to the higher realms and to those truths that are rooted in unconditional love rather than all of those that are rooted in fears of losing conditional love and all this stuff, all these opinions we've been given about the world. When you really start seeing things from this higher perspective, this Hierophant card, when you discover what your North Star is or your true North, you are looking at it going, this is who I want to be how I want to uniquely express unconditional love to the world. And if it doesn't fit into here, then it, it goes. And that's what this five of swords is, the, another five. Transformation, changing of thought and belief. I don't have to battle with everyone over the small t truths, trying to prove that my small t truths are more truer than your small t truths, because there's higher truths that no, don't need defending. And then you just live your life. You don't try to make everyone else live the life that you think they should because you're releasing yourself from those restrictions and you're releasing everyone else too and then you get to move forward and you let everyone else believe and do whatever they want to yet me of the four of wands victory celebration um sometimes marriage <laughs> so it depends on what you're looking for here but this is victory this is celebration this is a wonderful event that unfolds for you in your life so you have a lot to celebrate and a lot to be grateful for as you move forward and i like this too because what i'm hearing is that you know when we live by the small t truths we have when this happens way in the future then i can be happy but when you're living your dream every day and you're living your truth, every step of the way you can celebrate and have joy. You don't have to wait until a time that may never come because we're always moving that bar anyway. That carrot gets moved all the time. We may never celebrate. <laughs> so this is, we get to celebrate in each moment so grateful 
that we're able to live our dream and take steps towards our dream in some fashion or some way. So I do love this for you, Sagittarius. Now, if you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these readings, I also put out timeless pick a card readings, monthly readings for each zodiac sign, and a few other types of videos throughout the month. And if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get a notification immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, and then by clicking the subscribe button, you're given access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, there's an option for all, which if you select two things happens. One, you'll be notified immediately when I post new videos. And two, you're also notified when I'm going to go live on YouTube to provide free readings. In addition to that also, it helps spread the Zen love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share one of my videos, comment on one of my videos, subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited, it wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things I mentioned, please know that I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings. If you want even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings on a sliding price scale, and all that information is listed in the description box of the video down below. All right, Sagittarius, as you go throughout this week, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.